prey bunning. Causes of the infertility in women from www.layyous.com By definition, infertility is inability to conceive despite trying and having regular intercourse for one year. Infertility is one of the widespread problems facing couples, and the causes could be due to female factors or male factors. Causes of infertility in women are called female factors. Female factors for infertility are vaginal, cervical, tubal, uterine, ovarian, endometriosis, age and unexplained factors. Vaginal causes of infertility in women. Blockage of the vagina, which will interfere with the entrance of the male organs such as imperforate hymen, or extremely narrow vagina, or painful infections in the vagina. Cervical causes of infertility in women are following a previous cone biopsy or laser colonization. This might cause a decreased amount of mucus. This will affect sperm movement. The presence of any sperm antibodies. See closed cervix very rare condition. Uterine causes of infertility in women are of six different types. They are congenital anomalies. Asherman syndrome. Fibroids. Fibrosis. Endometrial polyp. Adenomyosis. Congenital anomalies, most of them precipitate from abortions, but some of them affect fertility and can be corrected surgically, such as a septate or divided uterus, which can be removed by hysteroscopy. Anomalies such as bicornuate uterus, rudimentary horn and T-shaped uterus. These anomalies usually are associated with unilateral or bilateral fallopian tube anomalies so they will also increase the risk for ectopic pregnancy and recurrent pregnancy loss in addition to infertility. Asherman syndrome. In this syndrome intrauterine adhesions form either after repeated curettage, severe endometritis, or due to scars from previous uterine surgery. Women with this syndrome usually complain of decreased amount of blood loss during menstruation. It can be diagnosed easily using hysterosalpingogram. And hysteroscopic resection of these adhesions can be done but it may need multiple sessions, in addition to giving steroids with estrogen for three weeks after surgery to avoid recurrence. Fibroids. Fibroids are a benign uterine tumor that might cause irregularities in the intrauterine cavity. Adenomyosis they usually do not cause infertility, unless it affects the intrauterine cavity in an obvious way, but if no other reason for infertility can be found, it is better to do myomectomy excision of the fibroid and restore the intrauterine cavity. Myomectomy can be done either by hysteroscopic resection, or by laparotomy abdominal incision is done to access the abdominal cavity then removal of the fibroid is done. Fibrosis, this may happen after endometritis and can be diagnosed using HSG, hysteroscopy can help in treatment. Endometrial polyp, its presence mimics IUCD, polyps can be diagnosed by HSG. Ultrasound or hysteroscopy then polypectomy removing the pulp can be done easily. Adenomyosis. Symptoms include secondary dysmenorrhea. Some hormonal treatments could be helpful AGG and RH analogs, or Danzol. The decision for this treatment should be taken by the treating physician. Tubal factors causing infertility in women are five in number. They are chronic pelvic infections, destruction of the fimbrile and adhesions, short tubes and tubal tumors. Chronic pelvic infections, this problem will cause tubal congestion. If the cross-section reaches more than 3 cm, tubal obstruction results in impeding of the oocyte transfer. Chronic pelvic infections may also result in pelvic adhesions that will affect tubal movement.
slowing it so an appropriate time for oocyte transfer interferes with fertilization. Pelvic inflammatory disease will result in tubal occlusion or pelvic adhesions that cause inability for the fimbrial ends to catch the oocyte from the ovary, or as mentioned before abnormal movement of the tubes and oocyte transfer. Causes for PID include infections with E. coli, or gonococcus infection STD PID affects ovarian function and tubal movement. And it may be severe enough to destruct the tubes requiring surgical resection. Destruction of the fimbrial ends, disabling its function and catching new sites into the tubes, PID or endometriosis can cause this. Adhesions caused by tubal surgery done for ectopic pregnancy, pelvic surgery done to the tubes or due to appendicitis. Short tubes less than 4 cm. Tubal tumors affecting its function. Ovarian dysfunctions are also 5 in number. They are, polycystic ovarian disease, functional failure, hypothalamic failure, pituitary failure and endocrinopathy. Polycystic ovarian disease, 20% of females have what is called polycystic ovary, which involves having follicles consisting of more than the normal condition. In this case the woman has normal fertility, but if it is associated with some of the following conditions, it is called polycystic ovarian syndrome and it is pathological. IVF and PCOD IVF was first done for women, who have tubal occlusion or male abnormal semen analysis. But the decision, whether women with PCOD will need IVF, should be individualized as said earlier. For hirsutism treatment for women, seeking pregnancy is different from those who are not. Most of the time, treatment of hormonal imbalance is the best thing. Regarding recurrent abortions in PCO patients, it occurs due to a slightly increased LH level, so it's better to give medications to manage its level, before starting induction of ovulation. Also some researchers have shown that ovarian diathermy lowers LH level and consequently lower the incidence of recurrent miscarriages. Functional ovarian failure are of two types ovarian failure and B physiological ovarian failure, such as corpus luteum insufficiency or luteal unruptured follicle. Ovarian failure is also called ovulatory dysfunction. They are usually caused by six different pathogenesis. 1. Congenital causes. Genetic and chromosomal pathogenesis results in ovarian agenesis. Hereditary causes for accelerated loss of ovarian reserve. Familial preterm ovarian failure. Chromosomal abnormalities 47XXX. Congenital enzymatic dysfunction results in 17 hydroxylase deficiency. Galactosemia. 2. Exposure to certain factors such as Large amount of radiation exposure. Chemotherapeutic agents as in cancer treatment. Viruses such as mumps. Heavy smoking. 3. Autoimmune causes, presence of ovarian antibodies. 4. Lack of or dysfunction of LH, FSH ovarian receptors. 5. Idiopathic causes. 6. Surgical oophorectomy. Pituitary failure, a secondary disorder of gonadotrophin regulation. High prolactin level either due to pituitary adenoma, idiopathic hypothyroidism or as a side effect to medication, which affects follicular maturation. Suprapituitary tumors. Pituitary tumors, traumas such as in RTA. Radiation exposure to the pituitary. Idiopathic causes. BLH and FSH gonadotrophin deficiency due to pituitary tumors.
destructive pituitary lesion, pituitary ablation, hypothalamic failure, which could be as a result of rapid and sudden increase or decrease in body weight, severe psychological and neurological stress strenuous exercises, radiation exposure, medications that cause hypothalamic failure, tumors, unknown causes, endocrinopathy, such as adrenal gland dysfunction, which lead to hyperandrogenic state, thyroid gland problems, hypothyroidism causes hyperprolactinemia and hyperthyroidism affects hormones necessary for follicular maturation, pancreatic problems such as diabetes, endometriosis, which is the presence of endometrial tissues outside endometrial cavity. It affects pregnancy either by forming chocolate cyst or endometrioma or by causing adhesions. Please press on the link to read more about endometriosis. Diagnosis is usually done by laparoscopy and treatment includes laparoscopic adhesiolysis, cauterization of endometriotic spots, Salping gossamy and rhinastomosis of fallopian tube problems. Success rate of tubal dilatation is around 35%, and if it was coronal obstruction the area where the tube is connected to the uterus success rate is around 55-60% to 60 success rate, and can reach 80% in cases of tubal reconstruction. Coronal dilatation is done by passing a special tube through the cervix to the tube. In cases of ovarian cysts hemorrhagic cyst surgical intervention is needed. Treatment of chronic PID causing adhesions is similar to treatment of endometriosis, which is adhesiolysis and tubal reconstruction. Unexplained infertility Inability to conceive after two years of marriage despite having regular intercourse. Multiple researches have been done with multiple theories attempting to explain it. Presence of certain amounts of fatty acids in the sperm cervical leukocytosis. Psychological causes. Stress and infertility. It is said that stress and strenuous exercise and unstable changes in weather may cause oligospermia, but there is lack of strong evidence for this. But, psychological causes might affect premature ejaculation or erectile dysfunction. The best psychological support for the male is from his wife regarding psychological causes. In women, it affects sexual function and ovulatory failure. In our society, most females, after marriage, will find problems in proper sexual intercourse, that is related to the way that most of them are raised, and psychotherapy is helpful in these cases. Some hypotheses say that stress and worries may cause significant changes in internal hormones, such as decreased cervical secretions or muscular spasm, including those lining fallopian tubes causing its obstruction or muscles lining the vagina causing dysperiunia. The stress also has its effects on the hypothalamus and ovarian function. So we advise each couple seeking pregnancy to try, as much as possible, to alleviate stress and worries as much as possible, and have trust in God and trust their treating physician. Learn more to get world-class infertility, IVF gynecology and obstetrics facilities. Visit www.layyous.com.